Good morning children. Welcome to your English class. Hope you all are fine. Children, in our previous session we had discussed chapter 13 Two Deer by Leo Tolstoy. Now today is our third session of the same lesson. Before we proceed further, let's quickly recap what we have done earlier. Well, you all are aware that the incident which is discussed in this lesson had occurred in the kingdom of Monaco which is on the borders of France and Italy right and it is a very tiny kingdom with a population of around 7000 people and uh, that's why the author has called the king also a kinglet and the kingdom as a toy kingdom but still it had a proper palace, courtiers, ministers, bishop, generals and even uh, an army. Though it was a 60 men army but still it had an army and taxes were levied on the people of the kingdom as it, uh, uh, it is levied in the normal kingdom. So everything was like a normal kingdom only the size was small that's why it's called a toy kingdom and the king is called a kinglet right so this is about kingdom of Monaco which is on the border of France and Italy on the shore of the Mediterranean Sea right uh, we had also discussed here that this was a very peaceful kingdom the people were very peace loving and uh, uh, no untoward incident had happened there ever right but it so happened that a murder was committed in this toy kingdom right and this was the first incident which has happened over the years so the judges the prosecutors, the jurymen, barristers and all argued that how should they punish the murderer. Since he has uh, committed a murder, so the punishment should be given. So what should be the punishment? Now the law of that kingdom said that this criminal, uh, his head should be cut off. So this was finally decided and this sentence the death sentence was submitted to the king for his reference now king said that if the law said that this fellow should be executed he should be given a death sentence then do that right we have to follow the law now in doing so there was one hitch and this problem was that the since this was a small kingdom and people were very peace loving so such an incident had never occurred and that's why uh, they neither had the gelatin for cutting the head off nor an executioner that is the expert who operates the gelatin so they didn't had any of it now the ministers again considered the matter and they decided that they will uh, send an inquiry to French government and tell them to lend them a machine and an expert to cut off the criminal's head. And they also asked about the cost for it. Now a week later they got a reply from the French government and French government said that man and machine would cost 16,000 francs which uh, the king found the amount to be too much because it would mean that on a population of 7,000 they'll have to bear an expense of 
टू फ्रेंक्स और मोर पर हेड एंड दिस वुड क्रिएट अ डिस्टर्बेंस अ रायट इन द किंगडम सो अगेन इट वॉज दे थॉट दैट दिल आस्क द अदर नेबर दैट इज इटली इफ दे कैन सेंड अ मैन एंड अ मशीन टू ऑपरेट इट एंड वॉट वुड बी द कॉस्ट द इटालियन गवर्नमेंट सेड दैट दे वुड चार्ज ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फ्रेंक्स फॉर द मैन एज वेल एज एन एन एक्सपर्ट टू ऑपरेट इट सॉरी मैन एंड द मशीन दैट इज फॉर द एक्सपर्ट एंड द मशीन एंड हिज ट्रेवलिंग एक्सपेंसिस ऑल इंक्लूसिव इट वुड बी ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड फ्रेंक्स इट वॉज चीपर दैन द वॉट फ्रेंच गवर्नमेंट हैड कोटेड बट स्टिल दे फाउंड दैट इट वुड अगेन बी नियरली टू फ्रेंक्स मोर ऑन टैक्सेज फॉर द पीपल सो द आइडिया वॉज नॉट लाइक्ड बाय द किंग एंड ही फाउंड इट एक्सपेंसिव सो ही से दैट फाइंड सम चीपर वे टू गेट रीड ऑफ हिम to execute him so then it was discussed and considered that if one of the their own soldiers of the army could do it in a rough and homely fashion because they just had to cut off the head of a criminal so the general of the army was called and john uh, the general of the army Uh, was told to find out a soldier who could cut the man's head off because they normally do it during the war they kill the people so it should not be difficult for them uh, the general talked to his soldiers and he tried to find out if one of them could take up this job but none of the soldiers were ready to do so they said that we don't know how to do it and they have not been taught to do so during the training they are not taught to cut the men's head off now again the question came what was to be done so again the ministers and the committees and the councils sub committees they all deliberated the matter lot of discussion took place and then they decided that okay good now what we will do is we are not going to execute this man but we will change his punishment from execution to lifetime imprisonment this person will remain in the prison all his life now by doing so they found two benefits one was that it would enable the king to show his mercy towards the criminal right and another benefit was that it would come cheaper they would not have to spend so much money on this criminal so it was finally decided the king also agreed to this and the matter was arranged that now this person will not be executed done decided now again the problem came when you sentence somebody for life so you have to give him a strong prison because that's a lifetime imprisonment but there was no suitable prison for this man who was sentenced for life because this was a peace loving country and the people here have never committed such crime so there was no such reason there was a small lock up you know sometimes for some petty issues or some uh, you know small uh, mistakes or uh, wrong doings the people were put up in the lock up for some time temporarily but there was no strong prison fit for permanent use so but still they were able to find a place where they can put this young man so finally it was decided that the young man is going to leave here and 
since it was a matter of lifetime imprisonment so a guard was also placed over him so that he doesn't run away now this guard has two things to do one he has to watch the criminal and two he had to fetch his food that is the criminal's food from the palace kitchen that's it he had two things to do so till here everything looked good they were all happy that finally the matter is solved and with minimum expense they are uh, able to give punishment to the criminal right children so we had discussed till here in our previous session now let's see what happens next <clears throat> the prisoner remained there month after month till a year had passed but when a year had passed the kinglet looking over the account of his income and expenditure one day noticed a new item of expenditure this was for the keep of the criminal nor was it a small item either there was a special guard and there was also the man's food now once it was decided that the man is going to stay in prison right so the man remained there month after month till a year had passed now after the year had passed the kinglet he was looking at his accounts okay he was looking at his accounts the balance sheet of his kingdom which shows the income which is generated during the uh, year and the expenditure which is incurred during the year so one day he was sitting and looking at the total accounts of the whole year and he noticed that there was a new item of expenditure there was a new item which was added uh, in the column of expenditure now what was this new item this new item was for the keep of the criminal the kingdom was spending some amount for keeping this criminal now this was not a small item right they were spending they were happy that now the things are arranged but it was not so they were spending some small amount on the keep of the criminal also now what was this expenditure about this expenditure was about a special guard since he was in prison and for lifetime imprisonment so a special guard was appointed and this guard was paid salary so there was expenditure of a special guard and also the man's food he was getting food from the palace kitchen so his food was also one of the expenditure and the salary of the guard was another expenditure which the kingdom was bearing for this criminal it came to nearly 600 francs a year and the worst of it was the fellow was still young and healthy and might live for 50 years when one come to reckon it up the matter was serious it would never do so the king summoned his ministers and said to them now when the king saw this item of expenditure it came to nearly 600 francs a year now this 600 francs included the salary of the guard and the food of the criminal now the worst part of it was that this fellow that is the criminal he was still young and healthy 
and he might live for 50 years so for the 50 years the kingdom will have to bear the expense the every month or every year for 50 years they'll have to bear the expense of at least 50 francs a year right now when one came to reckon it up the matter was serious now if you really think about it the matter looks serious 600 francs a year for next 50 years and that too for a murderer for a criminal so it will never do this is not acceptable at all to the king for 50 years 600 francs and unnecessarily for such criminal so king was not ready to accept it so the king summoned his ministers again the ministers were called because they need to find a solution to this and the king said to them <coughs> you must find some cheaper way of dealing with this rascal the present plan is too expensive and the ministers met and considered and reconsidered till one of them said gentlemen in my opinion we must dismiss the guard but then rejoined another minister the fellow will run away well said the first speaker let him run away right so when the king found that the expense on this criminal was too much he called his ministers and he said to them that you must find some cheaper way of dealing with this rascal with this criminal why the kingdom should spend 600 francs and why people should bear the additional expense right so there should be some cheaper way to deal with this criminal the present plan is too expensive for one criminal one guard and food from the palace kitchen so this is not acceptable the ministers they met again they considered and reconsidered and this fellow was becoming a big problem for the entire kingdom for the judges for the ministers he was very troublesome they were not able to come to some solution which is cheapest so they again met considered reconsidered till the one of the ministers said that gentleman in my opinion we must dismiss the guard we must remove the guard okay so that is going to save the uh, amount of salary being paid to him so we should dismiss the guard but then rejoined another minister the fellow will run away if there is no one to guard him then he surely will run away because he is a murderer well said this first speaker let him run away let him run away we don't want him here he has become very expensive for the entire kingdom we are spending unnecessary money on such a criminal so let him run away he said the minister <coughs> so they reported the result of their deliberation to the kinglet and he agreed with them the guard was dismissed and they waited to see what would happen all that happened was at dinner time the criminal came out and not finding his guard he went to the king's kitchen to fetch his own dinner he took what was given to him 
returned to the prison shut the door on himself and stayed inside right so uh, the deliberation done by the uh, ministers was reported to the king let the uh, king he agreed with him he liked the idea that let this fellow run away and so the guard was dismissed and they waited to see what would happen they all were eager to see what would happen and they were so sure that this criminal will run away because now there is no guard to look at him now what happened is at dinner time the criminal came out and not finding his guard he went to the king's kitchen to fetch his own dinner he didn't run away but at dinner time since he could not see the guard there he went to the kitchen and got his dinner he took what was given to him returned to the prison shut the door on himself and stayed inside he did not run away from there but he took his dinner and returned back to the prison now this was all the more shocking for the ministers and others at the kingdom next day the same thing occurred this fellow was not running only he the same thing happened at the proper time he went for his food at the proper time but as for running away he did not show the least sign of it what was to be done they considered the matter again we shall have to tell him straight out said they that we do not want to keep him so the minister of justice had him brought before him so what happened is the same thing happened next day when it was food time this fellow went again to the uh, king's kitchen brought his food and happily stayed in the prison he was not showing the least sign of running away he was not ready to run away right now again there was a big question for the minister what was to be done they considered the matter again now what should we do of him he is not ready to go okay the guard has been dismissed but still he is there he is not showing any sign of running away so they considered the matter again we shall have to tell him straight out that we do not want to keep him now in this meeting it was decided by the ministers that we would straight away tell him that you go away from here we do not want to keep you here that is final okay so the minister of justice had him brought before him now the minister of justice called him and he was brought before the minister of justice now what happens next will this fellow be ready to leave the kingdom will he run away will he agree to what is being offered to him lot more problems will come for the ministers what will happen next children this we will discuss in our next session so for today 
we end our session here on this point that the fellow did not run away and he is again becoming a problem for the ministers how to uh, get rid of him and again he has been called and presented before the minister of justice what happens next let's discuss that in our next session so children till we meet again thank you so much take very good care of yourself and uh, please read this lesson to know more okay children bye take care see you soon